ever had your eyes tested? When they use this sort of thing on you, it's not terribly exciting. All you get is an eye full of light, very blinding for you. It's interesting for the person on the other end because this is an ophthalmoscope. It's a very interesting device for allowing a doctor to look inside your eyes. You've probably noticed that he wields a little um, lever here or turns his little wheel and the thing clicks round. Why does he do it? Well, to understand why, you have to look inside the eye itself because this is full of lenses and your eye has its own particular lens. So the eye is a bit the size of a, or like the, a ping pong ball really, with a clear window in the front and then a black bit which is really a hole. It looks black because the whole inside of the light is in shadow, but with the ophthalmoscope, the doctor drives a light inside there, lights up the inside of the eyeball and can see what's going on, as long as the lenses are in unison. Let's take the eye apart and you'll see what I mean. Off comes the outer coat and the inner coat and the front of the eyeball. Inside it's full of jelly, a clear jelly that lets light through, so we'll let that go. And this is the bit that I was talking about, the lens. It's like a magnifying glass and everybody's lens is different, which is why he has to change the lenses on his ophthalmoscope to make sure they fit in with your lens. And if he gets it right, the light inside the ophthalmoscope, which is powered by batteries and uh, sends a light beam through a prism, directs that light beam through your lens onto the back of the eyeball. And you can see it picks up different things. There are some blood vessels. Over here is the place where the nerve leaves the eyeball. Just there is the most sensitive spot in the eye. And by hunting around, looking through your pupil, he can examine parts of your eyeball and see if there's anything wrong. And what he is seeing is, looking through that eyepiece, not a blinding light, the part that's going to your eye, but in fact, he's looking through one of those lenses and your own lens and adjusting the focus. So if I hold that against my hand, you can see that as I turn that wheel, things are going to come into focus. In this case, it'll be the ridges of skin on my hand. In the eye doctor's case, it's going to be looking through your lens into the back of your eyeball until sharply in focus are all those blood vessels. He's got another little wheel down here, which can be turned, and that throws in things like yellow filters and green filters and bits and pieces. But mostly it's the adjustment of that wheel that's important to make sure the lenses of the ophthalmoscope and the lens of your eye allows him to get a very clear picture so that you don't lose the function of your most important sense, and that's sight.